I'm not saying you'd want to keep a bug for a pet. They're not cute and cuddly. Some of them sting or bite, and some are plain ugly. They really don't communicate with you, and it's often a hassle to provide their needs. But if you wanted to give it a try, a praying mantis might be your best bet. These insects, while not necessarily friendly, seem to have a curiosity about humans. And though they look strange, they kind of grow on you. Maybe it's their eyes. Praying mantises have prominent pseudo-pupils in their compound eyes, making it easy to tell where they're looking. Most insect eyes are comprised of larger facets that seem to look everywhere at once. So it's confusing. But praying mantises will look you right in the eye. A praying mantis can see clearly for about 60 feet, making it a hawkeye in the insect world. And it can turn its head almost 180 degrees to survey its surroundings. If some hapless small critter is nearby, it's suddenly on the menu. Because praying mantises eat just about anything they can grasp. They have strange front legs, termed raptorial, barbed and elongated and suited for holding prey securely. They tend to fold these in a strike position and this prayer-like pose gives them their names. They might look slow and sleepy while waiting motionless on a plant, but they're fast as lightning. When prey ventures near, they strike like a snake. In fact, they're so fast they can catch flies out of the air. Wow! Praying mantises are usually green or gray and they blend into their surroundings. It's easy to miss them as they wade in foliage. They're patient hunters and can go for days without a meal. They have no problem with aspect, sometimes hanging for hours upside down sometimes right side up. They get their water from dew and from the creatures they eat. Mantises naturally move to where prey congregates. Flowers are especially attractive since all kinds of small creatures eat sweet nectar. I usually keep some watermelon rinds in summer to attract insects and mantises love to sit on them and eat flies non-stop. I've watched a single mantis eat 15 flies with no signs of slowing down. How they can eat that much, and sometimes prey items nearly as large as they are in one meal, is amazing. They're like chipping machines, swallowing bite after bite without chewing as insect parts disappear in order. For prey that don't fight back, mantises start anywhere and eat both directions. For stinging prey, those that bite or which might get away, they first eat the head to quiet their victim. I've placed captive mantises into good feeding situations and had them suddenly stop and turn to look at me as if saying, how about that? Almost like a dog nodding appreciation during its meal. Nah, couldn't be. For their fierce and non-stop feeding, mantises are gentle when handled. They readily climb onto your finger and they neither bite nor scratch. I catch all that I find placing them in my garden as natural pest controls. When mature, mantises mate. Males do well to hit the road promptly since a bigger female may eat them when finished. Her abdomen swells in preparation for laying eggs. She lays several hundred in a protein foam mass called an ootheca. This hardens and protects the eggs. A female may produce five or more egg masses during her life. Those laid late in fall overwinter as eggs. They hatch in the spring as tiny nymphs that resemble adults. Periodically, nymphs shed their skin and grow larger. Adults are more than three inches long. 
Don't be afraid of a praying mantis. They're a great way to help youngsters learn about the outdoors. And while you might not want one for a pet, a day of observation brings rewarding discovery. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.